Hi there everybody, I'm so glad to see you here again and today we're gonna watch Bill Burr. By the way, I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and I want to learn English and move to America in one day. And today we're gonna learn a bit of English of this uh, black friends clothes and Harlem. What is Harlem by the way? Let's uh, google it uh, faster. Harlem, it is, it is, it is. Neighborhood is northern section of New York City, okay, of Manhattan, Manhattan or near Manhattan. Okay, maybe it will be about it, maybe we'll learn something about it, and uh, I want to improve my comprehension of listening skills through this, because I have been learning English for two years, and my English is not pretty well in a way of listening. Let's do this together. Have fun. <laughs> Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion, and uh, I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes, hanging out with them, because I gotta like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on, all brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is you know, I basically I ironed the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. 58 pairs of sneakers. And by the way, we don't have black people in Russia. I have seen maybe average number of uh, what what's number of black people I've seen. It is 500. I've seen only 500 black people in Russia. That's all. And uh, let's listen about it. Maybe it is good experience. <laughs> that shit like every color fucking Timberland and I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is they got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat it's like a rule or something they're the worst even when you wear some new shit there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it because god forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period one of them's gonna notice all of a sudden just look at you funny like this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. By the way, I'm wearing almost the same the same t-shirt, the same uh, the same clothes. I didn't buy new new clothes except of um, except of foot. Cl I mean that um, shoes. I bought only a shoes in this year. Everything else I didn't buy really. I I have this, I have these clothes also, and uh, if I need something, I can uh, turn it to another side and I can wear it uh, like uh, from within, like on another side, because it will be cleaner, yes? And uh, it will be another short, you can look at uh, my different videos and you will find that I sometimes wear it from another side, it is useful. Life hack. It is uh, it is a pity that we can't use it uh, with shoes the same way. And the whole car's like, oh shit! <laughs> then everybody just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. First they do the math, like what was that? Five days ago? Five days? This motherfucker got five shirts. By the way, one interesting story about my childhood. One man, one uh, my acquaintance in school classmate was making fun of me he went to me i want to say having fun of me in a british manner and uh, he said to me that i'm i'm not a really good person because i wear something from uh, what's the name of it second hand from second hand he we were sitting in a classroom and uh, here is our our here is my like a table here is my table and behind me he's sitting and i'm sitting the way that my shoes my my foot my feet sh showed to him like he can see my foot from from behind yes he can look at me from the behind and uh, look at my shoes and look at my feet and he found that uh, on shoes on my shoes on this type of feet print shoes print 
he found uh, price tag. Price tag not like in a way of uh, like it was like paper, paper price tag. No, it was marked or written, written price tag and price tag told that it is so cheap it was 350 rubles for 2006 it was really cheap like 350 rubles it is six dollars for a pair of shoes when a good pair maybe will be for 2000 yes 2000 rubles at, and it was 350 and he started to laugh at me because i was wearing something cheap it was kind of uh, bullying in my school to me. He got five shirts! And they start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday, next shirt be saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirts. Nice talk. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from like the suburbs, you know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was like those, remember those early 90s gangsters? What is frame of reference? Like uh, association with something. I'm the same dude. I don't have any frame of reference to all American experience. Almost. Only comedians. The rap videos. Throw the fucking LA riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. <laughs> I'm watching the video, so he's got a nice car, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> These black dudes are never happy. <laughs> but after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether well, black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> no. I figured out in my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're gonna let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. <laughs> Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. <laughs> I'm not saying something's gonna happen, I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. Yes, it is uh, a good observation comedy. So I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh, it's a black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? S second time we hung out was more like Midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. Cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st street, start getting like a little asthma, like, ah, oh, fuck, it's starting to get a little high up here. You feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 106. I don't understand it because uh, I don't have reference maybe for the streets or what? I, I don't understand it, sorry. Street, you're like leaning on shit like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? How come there's no taxis up here? Dude, what's a bodega? I don't know. Bodega? One moment, bodega. Bodega meaning... Meaning... Spanish, a wine shop or wine cellar? A small grocery shop, especially in a Spanish-speaking neighborhood. Okay... You know what that is? Let's get, let's get the fuck out of here! So I'm praying to God she's gonna tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon, you know? But she goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, ah, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. I'm going to be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. I think that I should make decision and to stop watching the subtitles. Need to stop them. It will be really a really nice, nice decision. Yes, 
Let's do this. Without subtitles. Watching, I will try to understand without subtitles. So, at this point, I'm really trying to hide, like, the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after, like, a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> she started to name... Uh, they started to fight... They started to to be in a place of uh, black people streets, yes? Black people leaders. I understand it, yes. I can understand it without subtitles, nice. Yo, dude, go on the internet, look at Adam Clayton. Did he kill a bunch of white people during a slave revolt? Dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. So at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? <laughs> Just relax. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like 5 or 4 in the morning, right? I'm staying on, like, Malcolm X and, like, Danny Glover or some shit, right? <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I'm at. But I see the street I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk by. So I'm like, fuck! <laughs> I felt like I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. <laughs> like lost in a black, black island. So I'm thinking I got to walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? <laughs> like, shockingly Caucasian. You know what, I what is Caucasian? <laughs> like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. <laughs> no, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? I felt like I should have had like a little pot of gold, like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you, like it. Kind of dance my way past them. Like, do, 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 do. But it's been going all right, you know. Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know. I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip hop countdown. <laughs> pretend, pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? It's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? <laughs> just that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. Probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and two, the radio's off, like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass, I don't see any rims. This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. God bless you. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much for coming out. And uh, about uh, this um, tented. Tented it is like what? Tented cover with or as if with a tent. Like... Uh, Tented windows. I am really, f I am really happy that I s started to understand his talk even without subtitles. It is a good progress, really. Even if I don't understand it fully, like maybe one hundred percent, I can catch words of speaking. I can catch words of speaking, and this really amazing progress of mine. Uh, because before I was watching videos only with subtitles, almost with subtitles, and even when when I have an option of uh, show subtitles, I showed them, I've seen them. But right now I can focus more on story and of the way how he speaks. It is amazing and I can kind of... Uh, do observation of uh, his charismatic traits and I can look at his face not on subtitles and uh, do guessing what he's speaking. 
need only to listen carefully right now and train this way. I understand that maybe after one month I will understand it. Uh, I will understand it better because it is progress. How we listen, it is uh, almost like a listening skills. It is our way how we catch words. It is our way how we, for example, I want to say. Uh, when you are imagine imagine i imagine one thing when you are um, a singer yes and you try to pick some notes notes of uh, playing piano you can hear it and you try to improve your pitch you do different types of notes of uh, this uh, gams of these uh, exercises, vocal war warm-ups, different types of arpeggios, and you learn more, uh, more, you improve your memory, you improve your physical attention to it. And here is the same thing. You learn one vocabulary, you learn vocabulary from Bill Burr, you improve your thesaurus of Bill Burr, then you go to next person with another accent and you will be kind of familiar with some words, with some of sayings, and uh, yes, it will be better. About Bill Burr, I like him a lot. I have many videos about him on my channel and his way of speaking, it is always hilarious. Thank you. Thank you for him, thank you for you, thank you for having me on this uh, video and have a wonderful day and have nice moments in your life and always improve self daily. Bye-bye.